Five consecutive wins now for Spurs, four clean sheets, a very decent night in the Europa League for Tottenham Hotspur, a very important clean sheet. Harry Kane is on fire, another brace from him. Spurs 2, Dynamo Zagreb 0. Welcome back to another video. I hope you're all keeping safe and well. So a very good night for Tottenham Hotspur at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium in the Europa League, beating the Croatian league leaders Dynamo Zagreb 2-0. A brace from Harry Kane, some superb individual performances from the Tottenham Hotspur players. Well, in today's video, I'm going to be going through all of today's newspapers, all of the match facts and stats, and looking at all of the player ratings as well. Just before I get into today's video, make sure that you download the OneFootball app for all of the live football scores, results and news, as well as getting all of the latest Spurs news on this channel. You can also see it all here. Download the OneFootball app to keep up to date with everything Tottenham Hotspur. Club news, transfer news, match information, videos, tables and results from all around the world. Don't miss out and please do let me know what you think of this app. So let's start with Tottenham starting 11, Hugo Lloris in goal, and then the back four of Serge Aurier, Davinson Sanchez, Eric Dyer, and Ben Davis. And then the midfield of Moussa Sissoko, Tonkion Dombele, Eric Lamella, Deli Ali, Hunmin Son, and up front Harry Kane. Substitutes used in the game, three subs came on in the 64th minute. Gareth Bauer came on for Eric Lamella, Stephen Bergwijn came on for Deli Ali, and Lucas Mora came on for Hunmin Son. And then in the 72nd minute, um, Pierre Emile Hoybier come on for Tongi on Dombele, and in the 84th minute, Harry Kane went off and Carlos Vinicius came on. Now, the match stats Tottenham had 68% possession to Dynamo Zagreb's 32, Spurs had 12 shots to Dynamo's 5, shots on target, Spurs had 5 to Dynamo's 2, uh, corners, Tottenham 6, uh, Dynamo Zagreb 1. Just going to go through some of the stats now. Now, Spurs have progressed from each of their previous three knockout ties in the Europa League when we have won the first leg. Now, in the 2012-2013 season against Lyon and against Inter Milan, and this season against Austrian side Wolfsberger in the previous round. Dynamo Zagreb remain winless away to English opponents in European competition, drawing two and losing seven, with each of their past six trips ending in defeat. As I said at the start of the video, we have now won our last five games in all competitions and that is equaling our longest winning streak under current head coach Jose Mourinho, including qualifiers Dynamo Zagreb suffered their first defeat in European competition since September 2020, ending a run of nine games unbeaten and six consecutive wins going into last night's game. Harry Kane has scored 26 goals for Spurs in all competitions this season, already passing his goal tally from each of his previous two seasons, 24 in both last season and the previous one. Um, and among Premier League players in all competitions this season, Spurs forward Harry Kane has scored the most goals and he has made the joint most assists, and that's 16. Tottenham head coach Jose Mourinho was speaking straight after the game about the very impressive Harry Kane. Of course, Harry Kane got the Man of the Match uh, award as well. He said Harry Kane is doing everything. He is doing the striker job of scoring goals, the teamwork of creating space and the link in play and the extra work not many strikers do in defence. He helps us a lot. He has an incredible number of clearances from crosses and corners. We couldn't be happier. I gave a rest to many of the players, but with Harry Kane on the pitch, it is a different story for us. Jose Mourinho is very pleased with the 2-0 win. He said, I believe one more goal would be a good reflection of the game and would put us in a much better position. But before the game, if you asked, 2-0 is a good result, I would say it is. I'm now going to go through all of today's newspapers, all of the articles and reports. I'm going to start with this one from the Daily Mirror. Um, here, dinner party for Harry. Harry comes back for seconds as Jose gets taste for Euro success. Harry Kane has become Tottenham's passport to European success this season. He scored twice last night as Jose Mourinho's men put one foot into the quarterfinals and it is difficult to think of a better, more informed striker in the Europa League. 
Um, the player ratings here, I think they're quite underrated, uh, actually. Hugo Lloris got a 6, Aurier got a 6, Sanchez a 6, Eric Dyer a 6, Ben Davis a 6, Suzoko a 7, Ondombele a 6, Lamella a 7, Deli Alli a 6, Hunmin Son a 7, and Harry Kane, star man, man of the match, 8 out of 10. Um, I think that Tongi Ondombele should have at least a 7. Um, as well. Um, ben Davis, I think, should have at least a seven. I thought that Serge Aurier had a, had a great game as well. And I think that Eric Lamella deserved um, the same rating as Harry Kane. I really do. Um, I think that um, Eric Lamella has had a really good month in a Tottenham shirt. You know, he's often criticised for, for not giving enough and his decision making, etc. But I think that he has had a very good few weeks in a Tottenham shirt. This next one is from the Sun newspaper. Harry and Muggam. <laughs> Kane wins right Royal Rumble. Daniel Levy toasted his 20th anniversary as Harry Kane reached his 26th. If it continues like this, they could be celebrating in Gdansk on the 26th of May. Kane fired Tottenham a step closer to the Europa League final with a brace in the last 16 first leg. This next one is from Daily Express, and it says here, Kane's double time puts Tottenham in position to progress. Now, I do agree with the player ratings here in the Daily Express. Um, they have given Hugo Lloris a 6, Serge Aurier a 7, and rightly so. Sanchez a 6, Eric Dyer a 6, Ben Davis a 6, Zazoko a 6, Tongyon Dombele a 7, Pierre-Emil Hoybier, um, of course, come on a sub 6, Deli Ali a 6, Lucas Moura a sub 6, Eric Lamella a 7, Gareth Bale a 6, Hunmin Son a 6, um, Stephen Bergvine a six, Harry Kane an eight, star man of course. This next one is from the Daily Mail and it says here, Hurricane Harry blows hot for Jose. Harry Kane, who else? On a night when gals whistled along the Tottenham High Road, Hurricane Harry propelled Spurs towards the last eight of the Europa League. It's also got Jose Mourinho quoted about um, Harry Kane's so-called injury or, or going off in the 84th minute when Carlos Vinicius came on. And of course, uh, you know, watching the game, we saw that ice pack go on his knee. Um, Jose Mourinho said, I don't think it's anything big. Um, Sunday is a match that everyone wants to play and little things will not stop him. I don't have the feeling that it's serious. Let's see the reaction, but hopefully not. This next one is from the Daily Star, showing this wonderful picture of Harry Kane finishing and scoring yet another European goal in that all-white kit. Wonderful to see. Kane, such a remainer. Harry Kane has become Tottenham's passport to European success this season. Harry eyes Euro glory as hitman leads way. Um, it then says, incredibly, that was Harry Kane's 29th goal in his last 34 starts in European competition, and yet it would be hard to think of an easier goal he'd scored. Um... Later on in the report, it says the ball fell perfectly to Kane, who had enough time to control it, set himself to smash it into the net to wrap things up. And I must say, um, you know, that first goal, he actually created the goal inside Tottenham's half. And then, of course, Eric Lamella hit the post. You know, fantastic work from Eric Lamella. And who was there to finish off? You know, the move that he actually started and created, Harry Kane. The man is just a genius. I just don't know what else all of us Tottenham fans can say about Harry Kane because he just gets better and better and better every week. This next one is from the Guardian newspaper. Razor sharp Kane sparkles and puts Spurs into driving seat. And then it goes on to say, on the day that Daniel Levy celebrated his 20th anniversary as the Tottenham chairman, it was perhaps inevitable that the lack of silverware on his watch was highlighted. The return amounts to a single League Cup. And lastly, this one from the Times newspaper, uh, across the double page here at the bottom. And it says, Spurs put one foot into the quarterfinals, but Harry Kane limps off. It then goes on to say that Jose Mourinho had hoped to mark Daniel Levy's 20 years as Tottenham Hotspur chairman with a trophy. And on the anniversary, he showed his ability to, to fulfil that promise. 18 months after telling Harry Kane he could make him a superstar of the sport, Harry Kane converted his 25th and 26th goals of the season to put Spurs on the verge of the Europa League quarterfinals. 
Now, ratings here from the Times newspaper, Hugo Lloris a 6, Sergio Aurier a 7, Damson Sanchez a 6, Eric Dyer a 6, Ben Davis a 6, Musa Sissoko a 6, Tongi Ndombele a 7. I thought uh, Tongi Ndombele was absolutely superb last night. You know, his, his wonderful skill, you know, spent a lot of time on the floor because they clearly, you know, Dynamo Zagreb clearly targeted him, targeted him and, and, and brought him down so often. Um, Eric Lamella got an 8. Rightly so, I thought Eric Lamella was absolutely brilliant, as I said earlier. Um, Gareth Bale, sub six. Deli Ali a six. Hunmin Son, a seven. Harry Kane, an eight. Thanks for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please do put all of your thoughts in the comments section below on what you made of the game. Tottenham Hotspur 2, Dynamo Zagreb, nil. And now we are focusing our attentions to Premier League football. On Sunday, 4.30 kickoff at the Emirates Stadium, Arsenal against Tottenham. It is the big one. Of course, Tottenham need the three points to, to have that push for the top four. And of course, we need the win anyway, because it is Arsenal. It is our North London rivals, and we have to win the game. Please do put your score predictions in the comments section below. I'm personally going to go for a 3-2 Tottenham Hotspur win. I'm feeling confident. We've won our last five games, and I'm hoping that we can do the same again. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed today's video. Please leave a like. Please subscribe to the channel if you don't already. Um, stay safe and well, and I'll see you on the next video. Until then, come on you Spurs.